Hello everyone, welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode, we're going to be looking at a new series called ICAR Training, where we're going to be looking at some sample questions of the ICAR examination. We'll be looking at the questions and their solutions and how to solve them effectively. So let's start off with a question from biology. If you suspect major deficiency of antibodies in a person, then which of the following would you look for confirmatory evidence? Serum albumins, fibrinogen and plasma, serum globulins, or triglycerides? So how do we solve this question? We're looking at major deficiency of antibodies. What are antibodies? First of all, they're found in the serum. So that means you can find them in plasma, you can find them in blood, you can find them in you know limbs, etc. So they're found in serum. And also they are, you know, made in response to antigens. So they're there for protection. Now, since they're found in the serum, you can either consider them to be serum albumins or serum globulins. So options B and D are incorrect. Now, what about the antibodies themselves? What about the examples? Now, if you look at examples for antibodies, you get IgA, IgB, etc. So basically, these are immunoglobulins. So these are also um, called as gamma globulins. So therefore, option C, serum globulins, turns out to be the right option. So if you look for the number of serum globulins, you have a pretty good idea of the amount of antibodies in a person. So therefore, option C is the right option. Next question. Given below are two statements. We need to find out the most appropriate answer from the options given below. So let's look at the two statements. Statement one says, the greater the concentration of water in a system, lower is its kinetic energy or water potential. This statement is actually incorrect because if you have more concentration of water in a system, it's more dilute. So that means you have a higher kinetic energy and a higher water potential. So therefore, statement one is incorrect. Now that means option A is incorrect and also option C is incorrect because in both of these options, they say that statement one is correct when it's not. So how do you choose between B and D? Let's look at statement number two. Pure water will have the lowest water potential. Now, as you've seen in the first statement, if you have greater concentration of water, then there's a higher water potential. Pure water has the highest concentration at 100%. So therefore, instead of lowest, it will have the highest water potential. So as you can see, statement two is also incorrect. So the option where both statements are incorrect, that is option B, would be the right answer. The other options are now incorrect. Option number B is the right option. Now let's look at a question from chemistry. The monomeric units used in the synthesis of Dacron are melamine and formaldehyde, ethylene glycol and phthalic acid, ethylene glycol and terphthalic acid, hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid. So how do we solve this question? Well, let's look at the options, melamine and formaldehyde. They're used to form melamine resin, which is basically um, a fire-resistant material used by firefighters. While dacron, or terylene, as it's commonly known, is actually you know, prone to fires, so therefore option A is incorrect. Option D, hexamethylene, diamine, and adipic acid. These are used to form nylon. So therefore, option D is also incorrect. Now, terylene or dacron is called a polyester. So therefore, the monomeric unit would contain an ester. So therefore, options B and C seem to be good options. Well, let's look at option B then, ethylene glycol and phthalic acid. This actually forms a different compound called glyptal. Now, glyptal is a polymer which is used in cements as an adhesive. So therefore, option B turns out to be incorrect. The right option is option C. Ethylene glycol and terphthalic acid are used to form dacron, which is given here. So basically, um, ethylene glycol is NCH2OH, and terphthalic acid is basically 
benzene connected to two COOH units, which is then repeated n times. So when you add the tartalic acid to ethylene glycol, you get this particular monomeric unit, and that's repeated to form terylene. So basically what we're doing is having a condensation polymerization reaction where a water molecule is removed to form Dacron. So therefore option C turns out to be the right option. Now let's look at the final question for the day. This one's from chemistry. Again, this is a statement question. We need to find out the right statements and from there choose the correct answer. So first of all, the first statement says aspartame is a methyl ester formed from aspartic acid and alanine. Now aspartame is what we call an artificial sweetener. It's used instead of cane sugar and that's because they want to reduce calories in you know sweet products. And yes aspartame is a methyl ester so that part's correct. One of its components is aspartic acid and that's also correct. However, the amino acid component of aspartame isn't alanine, it's actually phenylalanine. Now, b alanine is completely different from the amino acid phenyl phenylalanine, so therefore option, I mean statement number one is incorrect. Now, since statement one is incorrect, option A is incorrect and option C is also incorrect because both of these options say that statement one is true. Now let's look at the second statement to find the correct option. The use of aspartame is limited to cold foods and soft drinks because it's unstable at cooking temperatures. This is true because it's made out of an amino acid so therefore it's limited to cold foods. So therefore statement number two is true. That means the option that's correct is the last option, option number D. So option number D, statement one is false, but statement two is true, is the right option. Now that concludes this episode of iCar Training. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. If you want to get the latest updates from our channel, then please don't forget to hit the bell icon present below the video. So until the next webisode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.